Welcome to Techie Bytes, where we teach you how to use Windows Office programs. Today we're looking at the basic terminology of Microsoft Excel worksheets. So let's get started by opening Excel. To open Excel, you can either go to the Start menu or press Windows R to get to Run, and then type in Excel and hit Enter. Once Excel's open, you'll see the spreadsheet consisting of rows and columns. The rows and columns are together called the cells. Each Excel workbook contains three spreadsheets by default. The spreadsheet can be extended by right-clicking the sheet tabs that are already present below the sheet. The cells are referred to by a column letter and the row number. By default, the column A, row 1, is highlighted as A1. You can hit enter to move down to the below row. Now, try holding the shift key and hit enter so that you'll be moved to the row above. You can use the tab key to move to the next column to the right side of that column. And to move to the left, you just have to hold shift and press tab. You can also use the cursor to move to any cell directly. Just move your cursor over the required cell and then click there and that cell will be highlighted. You can even use the arrow keys to move to different cells in the spreadsheet one by one in any direction. That's basically all the options you have to select different cells and move around. Now let's look at the different interfaces in the spreadsheet. First you've got the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar has New to open a new document, Open to open a previously saved document, Save to save the present document, email to email the document, quick print to print the document quickly, print and preview to preview the document before your printing, spelling to check the spelling, undo to undo a recent work, redo to redo the work that you undoed, and sort ascending to sort in ascending mode, or sort descending to sort in descending mode. All that stuff is pretty self-explanatory, so let's get to the ribbon. The ribbon consists of Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, Review, and View. Moving to the command group, the command group consists of different commands applied for data like the font, alignment, numbering, and styles for cell editing. Now the name box. The name box consists of the location, or the name of the cell which is selected. Right next to it you have the formula cell. By using the formula cell you can enter or edit the data, formula, or function that will appear in a specific cell. Then you've got columns and rows. The columns are from top to bottom and columns are identified by letters. Rows are the groups that run from left to right and they're identified by numbers. Then you've got worksheet view. The worksheet view consists of three types of views. There are normal view, page layout view, and page break view. And then you have the two scroll bars. There's the vertical scroll bar and the horizontal scroll bar. Then we have the zoom control, which controls the zoom of the page. If we move it to the right, we can zoom in, and if we move it to the left, we can zoom out. 